Are you paying attention? Or are you delusional? You have broken every arms embargo written. There is enough evidence here to put you away for consecutive life sentences. You are going to spend the next 10 years of your life going from a cell to a courtroom before you even start serving your time. I don't think you fully appreciate the seriousness of your situation. My family has disowned me. My wife and son have left me. My brother's dead. Trust me. I fully appreciate the seriousness of my situation. But I promise you, I won't spend a single second in a courtroom. You are delusional. I like you, Jack. Well, maybe not, but I understand you. Let me tell you what's going to happen. This way you can prepare yourself. Soon there's going to be a knock on that door and you will be called outside. In the hall, there will be a man who outranks you. First, he'll compliment you on the fine job you've done, that you're making the world a safer place, that you're to receive a commendation and a promotion, and then he's going to tell you that I am to be released. You're going to protest. You'll probably threaten to resign, but in the end, I will be released. The reason I'll be released is the same reason you think I'll be convicted. I do rub shoulders with some of the most vile, sadistic men calling themselves leaders today. But some of those men are the enemies of your enemies. And while the biggest arms dealer in the world is your boss, the President of the United States, who ships more merchandise in a day than I do in a year, Sometimes it's embarrassing to have his fingerprints on the guns. Sometimes he needs a freelancer like me to supply forces he can't be seen supplying. So, you call me evil, but unfortunately for you, I'm a necessary evil.